Hey, welcome back team. Great to see you Jazz Cats. All right, this is lesson four of Hit the Road Jack. And this one's gonna be a quick one because we're just focusing on 63 to the end. It's actually really all about the saxophone. Uh, brass, you do have a few notes here and there. Rhythm section, you have a few notes here and there as well. Um, history of this song, uh, you may find it interesting. Uh, this was written by, actually, not by Ray Charles, um, though you should check out the movie about Ray Charles called Ray. Um, this song was written by Percy Mayfield, who was a songwriter uh, during Ray Charles' time. When Ray Charles, uh, his version came out, it was number one on the Billboard charts for two weeks in 1961, starting on my birthday. Pretty cool. Now I'll let you figure that out. Um, uh, well, hold on. I was not born in 1961, so don't get that in your mind. But my birthday in 1961. Um, the, uh, there is actually an answer to this song called, Well, I Told You. Um, and that was uh, performed by the Chantels. So you can check that out and listen to that on YouTube if you so desire. Um, in 65, we have those harmonies, do, da, da, do, do, da, that I performed in lesson three. Um, so it's pretty much the same notes for everybody. Um, the, the cool thing about this is the last um, two measures, kind of last three measures, has staggered entrances, meaning people enter at different times, um, which makes a really cool effect. Flute. And alto uh, one, you come in on beat four of measure 66. Alto two, you come in on beat two of 67. Tenor one, you come in on beat four of 67. And tenor two with baritone and rhythm section, you come in on beat two of 68. So you're going to get this kind of feel. One, two, three. Do da, do da, do da, do da. And then we fermata it and cut off together after holding it out for a while. Um, I'm actually going to start this piece by demonstrating on alto one, starting in measure 61, just so you get a feel for how everything connects. We do have a tide note that goes into 63. Okay, here's 61 for alto one. Cutting it off at some point there. Okay. Now I'm going to play the second alto part, starting in the same place. Notice that my entrance in 67, we have a few more rests than the alto one part. Let me try that again. There's some C sharps there. Uh, one more try. And that C sharp, look mom, no fingers. Okay, when you see that, when you see that C sharp. Okay, we're going to move on to the first tenor part here. I'll grab my handy dandy bass clarinet, which is also a B flat instrument, uh, just like tenor. Um, also a B flat in instrument is the trumpet, meaning when you play a C, it sounds like a B flat on the piano. <laughs> So here is the uh, tenor one part starting in 61, the second ending. <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of 
corny. I like to cut myself off. All right, here is uh, 61 for tenor two. <laughs> at the very end there you have an F sharp second tenors okay one two three and second uh, Barry Sachs pretty similar part there all right band been a lot of fun I love this piece hope you love it too happy practicing wash those hands a lot and we'll see you soon <laughs>